Alright guys, we are back. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. As always, it is so great to see you. And friends, welcome to 4 Wheel Drive Talk episode number 8. And in this week's episode of 4 Wheel Drive Talk, we're going to talk about the killer tank turn feature in Rivian's and how it won't be ready for launch. Now we're also going to discuss updates to the 2022 Toyota 4Runner that promises to make it the best 4Runner yet. And we can't leave without the James Bond inspired Defender that Land Rover is offering. It's one hell of a beautiful SUV, but I have a bone to pick. It doesn't come with the machine guns. Now we'll get to these stories here in just a bit, but first guys, hey, we put these little newsreels together every single week to keep you guys informed as far as what's happening in the industry. Now our goal here is to keep you informed. If we were successful with that, if you were mildly entertained with this, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. It really does help with the whole YouTube algorithm and helping us keep growing this channel. That said, my friend, let's get on to this week's headlines. Now back when Rivian announced the R1T truck, one of the most talked about features was its ability to turn like a tank. And while the R1T has gotten tons of praise for being really a game changing truck, the tank turn feature is not gonna be available on the initial deliveries of the vehicle. Now as it turns out, getting the truck to turn like a tank is very complicated as you might imagine. The only reason it's even possible is because the truck has separate motors for each one of the wheels. While Rivian has had success with the feature when all four wheels were on the same type of surface, problems arise when different surfaces and different levels of grip are introduced. Problems also occurred when the truck tries to turn on an inclined surface as well. So if you reserve the Rivian, chances are that you won't get the tank turn feature out of the gate. Rivian wants to perfect the system first. That way it's useful feature and not just some crazy gimmick. There's no doubt that the Toyota Frontrunner is one of the most capable off-roaders in the world and one of the most loved as well. In 2022, Toyota promises that the new 4Runner will be better than ever. Now, in addition to a new suspension that uses adaptive dampers and a center damper to reduce yaw and pitch, some of the 4Runner models will also include features like 20-inch wheels, LED headlights and fog lights and multi-train monitoring, which is really multiple camera system for seeing the vehicle surrounding when it's on the trail. Now, some of the 2022 Forerunner models will also get design tweaks like color match accents on the front grill, uh, body molding and rocker panels. Uh, there's also a new color lime rush, which will be available as well, along with more toned down colors like uh, magnet gray metallic, uh, super white and midnight black metallic. Now, whether you opt for the base SR R5 model or the top of the line uh, TRD Pro model, it looks like you're going to expect to see quite a few new goodies inside and out. I seriously doubt any of us would drop the money to buy a special edition James Bond Land Rover and then take it off-roading. But if you did, man, you're definitely going to look good doing so. To commemorate the new Bond film, No Time to Die, Land Rover built a special V8 powered Defender of which, guys, only 300 are going to be built. Now, the SUV will feature special Defender 007 badge, 007 illuminated sill plates, Xeon blue brake calibers, 22 inch glossy black wheels, and black paint. There's even a special 007 startup uh, animation that plays each time you get in and out of the car. Now, in case you need to be reminded that you you've purchased just one of 300 of these vehicles, Land Rover has etched one of 300 in the interior of the Defender. Now all this comes at a price of just under 102,000 for the base model, though you can spend much more money for added extras. I wouldn't be surprised that these things are gonna be selling way beyond that 102,000. When you look at some of the uh, other vehicles and so forth over the last five years where they were limited edition, a lot of these vehicles selling 20, 30, 50 grand over stickers. So I would not be surprised that's going to be the case with this truck as well. All right, last but not least, let's review our current giveaway. We have three awesome prizes, a $100 Amazon gift card, a Coleman sleeping bag, a Stanley Adventure camp cook set. Now entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So get watching some of our other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on 4-Wheel Drive Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you already registered on the site during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But as we keep saying over and over again, swing on by, say hello. We would love to see you. And friend, that is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on 4-Wheel Drive Talk and how to say hello in the forum, check out the description below. 
Good luck. All right, guys, that is it. Four-wheel drive talk episode eight is in the bag. As always, getting in front of you guys every single week is such a blast to keep you informed as far as what's happening in the industry. Now it's that time where I'm gonna ask you to do all that YouTube stuff. So if you currently aren't subscribed to the channel, hey, we'd love to have you part of the family. And if you found some value in this video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And while you're at it, might as well smash, kick that bell so that you're notified each time that we come out with a new video. That said, I'm gonna be jumping out of my studio so you get out there and find your adventure.